You might have heard this before if you're a YouTuber. If you've always dreamed of making a living as a content creator and quitting your nine to five, let me tell you guys a little secret. You're only one video away. You're only one video away. I realize that's rarely the case, especially in the long run. But before we get to that, let me show you what Nate Black said. He makes a good point. Let's talk about that phrase, you're one video away. What does that even mean? I think on face value, it means if you keep publishing, then eventually one of your videos is going to go viral and then you will have made it. For example, making it could mean you finally get a viral video and then the rest of your channel explodes and everything is easy from that point on. There isn't a destination that we're accomplishing here. And saying you're one video away or just keep publishing because you'll make it eventually, both lead to nebulous kind of unknown endpoints. I've experienced this with my own viral video where I got over 200 thousand views but it really didn't make much of a difference in my channel yes I gained over a thousand subscribers from it which is half of mine currently as I'm at 2,000 but most of them are ghost subscribers and they don't watch any of my other videos so pretty useless to have gained all those subscribers for that video I guess it makes sense because that video was a one-off and I'm not a topical commentator on Korean culture or anything of pop culture. But I'm not the only channel to go through this. Let me show you some examples of people who've had viral hits who are still currently getting not very many views, especially compared to their subscribers. Let me show you this guy's channel, Austin Schrock. He had an absolutely viral video where he talks about how he used his pocket notebook and how it's slowly replacing his phone. That got 3.7 million views a year ago. Um, and since then, he's got a couple, few viral hits. He's got, what, 200,000, 200,000, 100,000. And if you look at his latest videos, 3,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, it's not absolutely dog shit, but after that viral video about his pocket notebook, he just hasn't been able to have <laughs> that much success, especially on his latest videos. It really depends on the topic for Austin Schrock. It's a real hit or miss for his channel. Now let's look at this guy, Ivan Juric, who has been squatting every day for well over a thousand days. And if you can see, some of his days absolutely popped off. Over a million, 500,000, 400,000. These are just random days throughout his everyday upload that has been popping off. But if you look at his daily uploads, he gets about 4,000, 5,000. Just because he's had absolutely viral hits in the past doesn't mean he's like Sam Sulek level where he's getting at least 100,000 views every single upload, right? That's not the case. He's, he's single or four digits, I should say, in the thousands, in the single digit thousands, if that makes sense. All these viral hits in the past don't add up to having a successful channel in terms of the view count, at least. Of course, there are exceptions like Sam Sulek, where once he started getting tens of thousands of views, he hasn't ever gone below tens of thousands of views. And that's true to this day, even though he's uploading every single day. With his latest videos, he's still getting at least 70,000 views per video. So, damn, this guy is... It's just insane. The last exception that I'll mention is Gooby and Doobie, who absolutely went mega viral with this video where he talks about how he used to be a neurosurgeon and now he's quit being that. That got 11 million views. And since that one mega viral hit, he's had about 100,000 views for his talking videos. And I actually subscribed. I am one of his fans because he's talking about his experience of what he learned about diet and lifestyle from working with his patients and how people self-healed from terrible conditions that they were in just through their diet and their social life. So I am following him. I don't know how long this will go on. That is the question because how long can he really keep this up? At some point, he might run out of things to talk about in terms of what he's learned from his practice with his patients and some useful information, healthcare tip. I mean, there's only so much you can say and then at some point you're repeating yourself, right? So I'm curious what he's gonna do for content after that. What's inspiring about this guy is that he's posting whatever the fuck he wants. Like he has these continuous no loop sounds of just filming streams flowing or bubbles and water and hiking videos. He doesn't give a fuck about what he's uploading and it's absolutely inspiring that 
he he doesn't care he's not just optimizing for views he's just using this like you know the old school youtube where he's uploading whatever the fuck he wants i absolutely love that even if it means i don't watch most of his videos and i only watch his talking head ones but um yeah so that's an example where going viral I'm using this timer that I bought because of Austin Schrock, the YouTuber that I showed you earlier with his latest video. As you can see right here, this clock that he uses, I, I got it. And I have been timing myself for using it for productivity, side note. So um, I'm finding it really works, um, setting a timer and just getting started until the timer clicks down. That is a different topic altogether. Getting back to the point, my point is, there are exceptions like Sam Sulek and Gooby and Doobie who seem to make it after viral hit or many viral hits, but most channels are not like that. Even with 10 or so viral hits, they can just be back to kind of base level, which is way lower than any of their viral hits ever were. And I think the more important examples are not the viral hits, but just like Jay Alto said, the examples where people make it after a decade or even longer. People who've honed their craft for years and finally break through. While most people don't want to hear it, what's more useful is the over decades success stories, like how it took JK Rowling seven years and 12 rejection letters to get Harry Potter written and published, or how it took James Dyson 15 years and 5,126 prototypes to perfect his vacuum cleaner. Success is typically exponential, which is an early way of saying you can spend years grinding without getting anything back, and then all of a sudden, boom, it all happens at once. Samuel L. Jackson is a perfect example. He started acting in 1972, but it wouldn't be until 1994, 22 years later, that he would have his breakout performance in Pulp Fiction. His overnight success didn't take 10 years, it took 22 years, but it was during those 22 years that he put in his 10,000 hours, what Malcolm Gladwell claims is required to achieve mastery. So mastery is really what we should be aiming for. We shouldn't be constantly thinking, oh, I'm only one video away from going viral and everything will be easy after that. We should be thinking, how can I master my craft so that I am so good and stand out so much that I can sustain once I've reached a certain level, I can sustain it for however long and decades I want to continue. So here's to chasing mastery instead of virality. 1% better every day, baby.